The province of Punjab is the largest milk producer in Pakistan. 80% of its dairy production is in the hands of small backyard farmers like Muhammad Nadeem. Along with his brothers, he operates this dairy farm, a family-run business for three generations. They own 50 cows and buffaloes that yield 1,000 litres of milk per day. This is a water buffalo. Its milk is sold for 150 rupees per litre. The quality of its milk is much better than that of a cow. The milk is thicker and full of nutrients. Once you start drinking buffalo milk, you can never go back to cow's milk. For the past few years, this farmer has been struggling to make ends meet. The economic crisis in Pakistan, worsened by the COVID-19 pandemic, has driven up the production costs. To increase his revenue, Muhammad Adin adds tap water to raw milk. However, he knows nothing about the quality of this water, infamous for being polluted. I added 10 litres of water to 30 litres of milk. This way, I can earn 50 rupees profit per litre. Before 2015, it was cheaper for us to maintain the animals. We could save a lot of money with this farm. But now the expenses have almost doubled. We used to pay 80,000 rupees every month, but now it costs us 150,000 rupees. Inflation in the country has increased, so the only way we can make a profit is to dilute the milk with water. Nadim delivers milk to shopkeepers, but also directly to the households in his village. The pasteurized packed milk is 165 rupees a litre, a little less than one euro. This villager cannot afford it, so he gets one litre of milk per day from Mohammad Nadim. He clearly doesn't know about the mixing. I pay 130 rupees per litre. I know that they mix cow's milk and buffalo milk, and they shouldn't put anything else. Before that, we used to buy milk from a farm on our street because they were adding a lot of water to it. The farmer remains silent. Around 70% of loose milk sold in Punjab contains harmful bacteria and chemicals. To stop this, the provincial food authority sets up roadside pickets at the city's entrances. All vehicles carrying milk jars are intercepted and are screened. Give me a sample of this container. Okay. okay. One of you must follow me. We need to write down your details for the traceability of your milk. Madam, here's the sample. All milk samples are analysed in these mobile laboratories. The results come in 15 minutes. Who is the owner of this milk? Your milk is of inferior quality. It contains 25% water. Your nutritional value is low and the fat content is low too. This time we're letting you off with a fine only. But if there's a next time, we'll throw away all your milk and file a complaint against you. The man will have to pay 3,000 rupees or 15 euros in fines. His name is now in the database of the Punjab Food Authority. Adil Aslam is a director for the government body. Milk is 11,000? Yes, sir. And fine, total is 27,000 of Yes, sir. Those guys which are intentionally doing adulteration, in which urea, detergent, formalin, skim milk powder is mixed. We started a massive crackdown against those mafia. We conduct raid, we lodge the criminal case, they are arrested by police. One incident, the culprits opened straight away fire on our teams. And luckily, uh, our guys survived, but they were badly injured. In recent years, Food Authority has seized several factories producing fake milk from chemicals like soap and fertilizers. Consumption of adulterated milk can have disastrous health impacts. In this hospital, hundreds of patients come with similar symptoms and the doctors have no doubt regarding the cause of their illness. <laughs> For most patients who come for chronic diarrhea, gastritis or even stomach cancer, we look at their medical history and we find that the most important common factor is that they consume unpasteurized, loose milk. 90% of population in Pakistan consumes raw open milk. The government levied high taxation on packaged milk industry, whereas the loose milk sector remains untaxed and unregulated.